If you've ever been to the National Comedy Theater, you know their stage, bright lights and laughs are open to everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Carson Doyle Whalage. When the Autism's Got Talent competition took center stage. What do you call uh, an elderly snowman? Water. 18 year old Carson Doyle Whalage disabled his disability with laughter. Parallel lines have uh, so much in common. It's a shame they'll never meet. <laughs> when you want to become a professional comedian, you work your way to the top. We first met Carson at the Poway Rodeo, so... where he served as an ambassador to Sam's posse. Uh, calm down, Hank. Uh, uh, she's in the middle of something. Carson also enrolled in an improv class with the nonprofit Unscripted Learning. They kind of helped me a little bit in like the whole karate kid kind of way. Carson thought a lot of the exercises were pointless until he got back on stage. I never thought I'd be someone who would work out every day, but I was right. <laughs> Basically, uh, uh, these two guys are like the Mr. Miyagi of, uh, of myself. There can only be one Mr. Miyagi, so we asked Gary Kramer, a professional comedian, and Richie Plesh, a board-certified behavioral analyst, who made Carson's delivery so deadly. Gary taught me how to be funny. I'll give him credit for that. <laughs> I think uh, I'm, I'm, the the, the I'm the fence. I'm the fence. You're yes, the guy painting the, the, the fence. fence. I'm just the fence. <laughs> it's just amazing to see how far he's come. Carson's mother, Jan, says some of his jokes really hit home. To the person who stole my antidepressants, I hope you're happy now. <laughs> the laughter is great, but all joking aside. It feels great, to be honest. Carson got second place in the competition and won $500. So for anyone who wants to punch back at their challenges. What do you call a mysterious moose? With punchlines? A non-moose. If you really put your heart into everything, you could even disable your own disability, just like I did. In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, News 8.